Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So this video is about CSS checked pseudo class. I think this com this one is commonly used, right, for radio and checkbox, and it is also working for option. I actually have never used an option. It means that when the checkbox or the radio box is checked, yeah. To select it, let's see an example here. Uh, it's this yes. We can see that it says a color of red. We would toggle it. Uh, this node becomes red, and there is an orange box around this radio box. So how it is achieved? It says when input checked, uh, use this sibilant selector. So labels right beside it will be turned red. Yeah, so this is red. And also, if a radio box if it's checked, it has three uh, pixel orange box shadow. So this is the box shadow. Okay. For, now for checkbox, again when it is checked, uh, this rule will work, input checked, because it's turned on, and the label besides it will be red. And also it has a pink, hot pink, box shadow when it is checked. Great. Now for this select. Select. I don't think there is any... Yeah, there's nothing changed, right? So actually for Chrome, it's not it doesn't support for the option. So I think uh, it's a warning here, because browsers often treat option as a replaced element. What is replaced element? Mm -hmm. Replaced element is an element whose representation is out of the scope of CSS. Their external object whose representation is independent of the CSS form and model. But in the simpler terms, they are elements whose content is not affected by the current document styles. Is this a shadow anima shadow DOM? No, they are not shadow DOM. Object fit. Mm -hmm. Typical replaced elements are a frame, video, embed, image. Some elements are treated as replacement only in specific cases. Option audio canvas object applet. Non replacement. This video is a con anonymously replaced elements. They are anonymous because they don't exist in HTML. Is this shadow? Shadow DOM? No. Uh, let's uh, inspect it. For the select. Oh, no. Yeah, they're not shadow DOM. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So they're replaced into some native widgets, right? Okay, I see it. So it's not Shadow DOM. Okay, and then here's another example toggling elements with hidden checkbox. Now, this is very, uh, this one is very uh, commonly used. And these are some nice trick. I don't think we, we, I don't think it's worth learning but let's take a look uh, so it says talk toggle hidden rows yeah how sh how can we do this let's uh, inspect this is expandable mm -hmm. this is not a expandable toggle the button is a label for a hidden or expand toggle the hidden input here let's made it get out so when it's on, I think you will select the by sibling selector and finding the expandable in the table, right? So yeah, when it's checked, the sibling and uh, this is for anything, any children. Oh, wait a minute. So any, mm -hmm. what, what does this mean? I've never used this one. So it's for for all oh yeah for all yeah this is so um all the elements after it it's sibling and uh, the expandable within them will be turned visible if, and uh, the background is ccc oh yeah if not it's off then it will be invisible um
I don't like it. I will use script for this one. If I if I set logic in these CSS, it's less maintainable. I would say uh, the logic is is hard to find. Yeah, it's um. I don't like it actually. I don't like any CSS tricks. If if it's not for purity for uh, some styling, if it likes this kind of tricks to hold state. I don't like it. Well, it's a personal view, but uh, just remember that we could do a lot of things with this kind of uh, checked pseudo class. Okay, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.